I'm only going to show you two pictures, and this one will just sit up there for a while. Um, there it is. Okay. Uh, so who remembers their you know, high school civics, how the U.S. Congress works? There are 435 districts around the country, and some of them look like this. Uh, these are districts where people are elected to represent North Carolina in the U.S. House. Uh, the Congress since 2011 is the most gerrymandered Congress ever. Uh, gerrymandering is when you draw districts towards a specific demographic end, uh, a specific goal, and readily available mapping technology and demographic data on exactly who lives where by race and income and uh, past voting history and uh, past election results can be all fused together and allow people to slice up a map with very fine detail, grab neighborhood by neighborhood, a little more liberal neighborhood there, a little more conservative neighborhood here, and get tailor-made results from their elections by picking who gets to live in one district. You know, I think a district is supposed to be a local representative, but these are not defining localities as I understand them. Uh, the 2016 election uh, got over, for, for US House, for, for US Congress representatives, got over 128 million votes. 49.1% of the votes went to Republican candidates, 48% of the votes went to Democratic candidates, but 55.4% of the seats went to Republicans, and 44.6% of the seats went to Democrats. 2.9% of the vote went to third party and independent candidates who, of course, none of whom got elected. Uh, the current U.S. House is 241 Republicans and 194 Democrats. If that was proportional to the vote, it would be 213 Republicans, 209 Democrats, and 13 others, maybe uh, eight Libertarians and five Greens. Instead of one party with a runaway majority, you would have coalition votes on everything with the fringes of the major parties and the minor parties aligning from issue to issue. Uh, it'd be a much more interesting system. Uh, you know, gerrymandering contributes this to this by making safe seats. In 29 U.S. House uh, seats, the most safe of all, there was only one name on the ballot. Uh, the other parties didn't even bother to run in that district. Uh, and in two states, they don't even put the name on the ballot if there's only one candidate at the general election. So there was just no vote for uh, U.S. House in, in a couple places. Uh, shifting the House by 27 seats for one party sounds like a pretty big deal, but it's probably worse than that because of competing gerrymanders in different states. Uh, distorted district maps seem to favor Republicans in Texas, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia, Florida, Georgia, Michigan, and Wisconsin. And Democrats seem to be favored in Maryland, Illinois, California, Massachusetts, and New Jersey. Uh, people in biased districts everywhere are being denied a proper due process, democratic process. Uh, I can't be sure that all of those are malicious gerrymanders, but I know that they are not compact districts, and I know that the uh, statewide result in those states is not a proportional result, and it seems to be favoring one part of the uh, party or the other. So I mentioned compactness and how we can know that it's not compact, because I work. My primary work is around processing the data into something like this, which is a completely impartial map that is just trying to make compact local districts. I've done this for all of the state legislature and congressional maps across the country, uh, except for a couple that uh, cause bugs in my system. Uh, uh, so with maps like this, we can know uh, exactly what is possible and how far out of that we're, we are, we're doing. Uh, other work going on is trying to figure out Statistically, are the maps being generated an outlier and therefore you know, an unlikely map that must be the result of some uh, intelligent design, um, possibly malicious intelligent design? Uh, court cases in several states uh, have thrown out maps and required little tweaks over the last few years, and other court challenges are still in progress. But it's 2017, and these maps have been in place since 2012. 
So justice delay, delay, delayed is justice denied. These have been distorting elections for many cycles are now already. Uh, we're now closer to the next round of redistricting than the previous one. In 2020, there will be a new census, and in 2021, there will be a new set of maps being enacted by state legislatures all over the country. Uh, I'll be there with my compact maps to compare to. Uh, other efforts, uh, there's an effort up starting up at Tufts, are going to try and train up uh, a bunch of expert witnesses and lawyer up so that right as soon as the bad maps are enacted in 2021, we'll be there to challenge them. Uh, there are a lot of voter suppression and distortion problems going on in our country. And I ask you to keep gerrymandering in mind as one of the things we need to fix uh, to keep this American experiment going and create a more perfect union. Thank you.